guys and welcome back to my channel so I'm talking like this because I'm attempting to lighten my teeth right now if I sound lispy that's why you know the holidays are coming up and I haven't really been filming a video I think this has been the first week where I haven't uploaded an actual video so I decided I would do a get ready with me today and then possibly on Wednesday have like a holiday makeup look I might have another one up on like either Thursday or Tuesday we'll see so let's go ahead and get started I have done nothing to my face so far so the first thing I'm gonna use is the MAC prep and prime this is a really good primer at least for me I'm not a fan of the silicone type primers but I do like the ones that are more of like a creamy formula those tend to, tend to work best best <laughs> best on my skin um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. This is just like a little sample that I got when I ordered the Selena collection And just work that in with my fingers and I try to focus the majority of this product on the center of my face 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 <laughs> Can't even talk dude since this is gonna take the longest time to do and hopefully by then I'll be done with these white strips in my mouth and I'll be back to talking normal um, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows just the way I normally would There's one eyebrow done, and I'll just do the other one. So I'm just going to leave my eyebrows like this. I will be fading them in later with a little bit of foundation and all that good stuff. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add foundation. I'm going to be using a different foundation because I've kind of been experimenting with different foundations lately. So the first one is the Stila Illuminating Foundation. I also don't know, I don't remember, the days I use both of these, um, I used them on different days. I wasn't paying attention to like how long they last. I was just kind of focusing on like, oh, does it match? And that's pretty much all I did. Um, so I don't really remember how good they work. I think, I don't even know. So I don't know which one I want to use. Um, I have the Japanesque, I don't know what this is called, Velvet Touch Foundation, um, which I used yesterday. And let me just say, it will leave your face kind of feeling like velvet. The only thing is that this is in a pot, so it's a solid. It's not moussey or anything like that. So it's a little harder to apply versus the Stila one, which comes in a pump. So, and I think this one is a little bit more illuminating. So for the sense of being easy right now, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Stila Illuminating Foundation. I think this was a little bit light on me, but I'm just gonna use it anyways. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is the Stila Illuminating Liquid Foundation in the shade 100, or 100, <laughs> in the shade 10 watts. And I'm just gonna apply like a pump, maybe two, onto my hand. I think this shade was a little too light. Um, but I don't want to mix it in with any other foundation, like, because it does oxidize and match um, my skin at least. So I'm just going to place a couple dots everywhere. I do want to say, though, this foundation is very light. Like, even right here, you can tell how light coverage it is. Like, it's very easy to um, blend out. It's very blendable. It's very watery. Um, but it's very light on your skin and lately like I said I've definitely been more into the light foundation just the light weight feeling of foundation anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and use a brush first just to kind of blend everything out and if there's anything I need to like smooth or anything like that I will be using a beauty blender to kind of help make everything look nice and smooth for my forehead I like to use a smaller brush just because I like to have a little bit more control concealer I'm gonna go ahead and use I'm gonna use this one I am new to this one as well this is the covergirl ready set gorgeous concealer in the shade fair uh, this is definitely more creamy and it doesn't brighten as much as I would like it to but that's okay we'll see what it does and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it with a New York color loose powder I'm also gonna put some on the uh, some mile lines, I think it's what they're called. I'm starting to get wrinkles, guys. I don't know if it's true. So I'm gonna look weird for a while, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. So I'm just priming my eyelids with the Wet n Wild Primer. I'm gonna go ahead and set that with just a brow color. It's kind of like my skin tone, but slightly lighter. Honestly, this is probably like my go-to eye that I used to do a couple years back. 
Sorry, I'm like trying to reach for something. This is probably one of the eye looks that I used to do all the time. It always makes my eyes stand out for some reason. And then people are always just like, oh my gosh, your eye makeup is so good. Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and share it with you guys. So first, I just take a skin tone shimmer color. This one is one of my faves and it's lasted me forever. This is Iced Latte from the little L'Oreal Infallible Pots. And I just like to place this with my finger all over my eye. And next, I'm going to take just like a brick color. This palette is no longer available, so I'm sorry, but these are usually the colors I use. I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here. It's from the It's Judy Time palette, which came out with BH Cosmetics a while ago. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this in my crease. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and take this off real quick. The next I take the color right next to that last one. It's like a brownish, reddish kind of color. I think that's like the best way I can explain it. Um, and I'm just going to take a smaller blending brush. This is the tapered blending brush number 231 by Luxie. And again, I'm just taking that like reddish brown color and I'm just going to start popping that in the outer V. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with, I think it was this color. Is this the color I used to use? Of course, my camera says it's dying, so I'll probably be charging it while I do my eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and use this color right here. Actually, it looks really like brownie red, but it turns into like a really dark chocolatey color with very minimal shimmer. And that's kind of why I like to leave that powder under my eyes. This is the Luxie 211 Concealer Brush, but I like to use it whenever I'm going to be wetting a pigment to put on my eyes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a cheap setting spray because I don't like to use my Urban Decay stuff for this because that's a little more expensive. So I just like to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray and I like to spray the brush like once and I like to just tap it into whatever eyeshadow it is and then I just go ahead and pat and this just gives it a definitely more like metallic finish so I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye lastly I just kind of like to blend the edges a little bit more because sometimes when you add the pigment it kind of just leaves a more harsher edge to it so I'm just going to blend the edges a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and line the eyes and then I will be right back So that is it for this makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed getting ready with me. If you guys have any questions on any of the products I used, you can go ahead and ask me down below. And also let me know what colors you guys would like to see for Christmas looks because we have less than a week. So yeah, I will see you all later. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye guys. I don't even know what I want to do to my face today. <sighs> what? Well, oh.